I get a ton of DMs from people who can't get their hair to stay clean for days. It just stays flat and greasy, which makes it really hard to style or work with. They're wondering if it's them or their shampoo and if they're always going to be stuck being a slave to greasy hair. And luckily the answer is no. Even the greasiest hair can stay fresh and clean for days. You just need the right washing technique and the right shampoo. But first I need to tell you a story about my salon co-founder Leslie who's able to easily go at least seven days between washes. Whenever Leslie told one of her friends that she was able to go seven days, her friend would get all grossed out. Her friend's like, ooh, I could only go one or two days. That's gross. I don't know how you can go seven days between washes. Well, guess what? The joke was on her because a couple weeks later, she came into the salon to get her hair done by us, including the wash. And she texted us the next week. She was able to go five days between washes and it completely opened her mind. She was able to go from washing every one to two days to washing every five days changing nothing else than her technique and her shampoo. And the sneaky thing here is that she really thought she was doing a good job when she was only able to go one or two days between washes. A lot of us think that. So today I'm gonna to show you the exact same washing technique that I train all my stylists on. This is the exact same technique that got her from one to two days to five days. And it's actually really simple. It's not hard at all. So let's get into it. So let's start from the very beginning. It all starts with how you apply your shampoo to your scalp. And yes, I said scalp intentionally and not hair. You never want to apply shampoo directly to the hair. Your aim should be applied directly to the scalp. Yes, it'll get on your hair. That's totally fine. It's actually a good thing, but really your focus should be applying it to your scalp. That's because the scalp is where the oil comes from. Your hair does not produce oil at all ever. The scalp produces the oil and then it gets onto the hair. Knowing that you should never directly apply shampoo to your mids or ends. It'll just dry them out and make them feel terrible. So don't do that. To correctly apply shampoo to your scalp, you want to spread it out evenly. And I don't mean put a big lob on there, put it on top and then try and spread it out. It's not what you do. There's actually a strategy to this and we're going to focus on the toughest part of your hair to get clean first. The hair on the top back of your head is really, really dense, which makes it really easy for oil to hide in there. So to apply your shampoo, you're going to put it in your hand first, then you're going to take just a little bit with your other hand, spread the hair apart in the back, and then put the shampoo right up on there on the scalp, not on the hair, on the scalp as much as possible. Then you're going to take the rest of your shampoo, spread it out on your hands a little bit. You're not emulsifying it. You're not lathering it. You're just spreading it out. Then you're going to put it on the sides of your head, starting about an inch back from the hairline, just like that. Then there should still be some left on your hands. You're going to spread it again, just a little bit, go over the top of your head again, about an inch from the hairline. And then whatever's left at that point, you're going to put in the very back above the nape of your neck and then you're good. Now this is the most important part and this is where people tend to get off track, but it's super important to do this right. You really need to scrub and by scrub, I don't mean this palming thing where you're just smearing the shampoo on top of your hair. You need to get to the scalp. So don't use your palms, use your fingertips and press in a little bit. This is not a super gentle thing. Imagine you spilled olive oil over your hands, a little bit of water and a little bit of soap, just la 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 isn't going to get it. You need to get in there to remove the oil. On the other side, you don't need to be super rough. You shouldn't irritate your scalp. You shouldn't use your nails. You just want to press into it almost like you're giving a head massage. The best way to do that is with a back and forth motion. Remember, use your fingertips, not your palms and start in the back of your head, back and forth, back and forth and make sure you don't miss anything. Make sure to get your sides really well and make sure to get the nape of your neck really well as well. Now at this point, it's really important to get lather and suds and also to understand how they work and what they are. Lather and suds are the white bubbles that appear when you start rubbing your shampoo in. I use those two terms interchangeably, but they're the same thing. Suds and lather are just the white bubbles. The reason they're so important is because they are the indicator of whether your hair is clean or not, whether you need to keep shampooing or not. Why is that? Because as long as the shampoo is neutralizing the oil and buildup in your hair, they will not produce any suds. Suds and lather are only produced when your shampoo can't find any more oil or buildup to bind to. So that means that if you're getting lots of suds and lots of lather, your hair is clean. If you're not getting suds, if you're not getting lather, then your hair is still dirty. You need to keep going. If this is the first time you're washing like this, don't worry if you're not getting suds very easily. It's probably because you have a lot of oil and buildup in your hair that the shampoo is taken care of. So you may need to do two or maybe even three washes 
this is the first time getting it all the way clean. Now there's one caveat for using suds is your indicator of whether your hair is clean or not. And that's that it only works with professional shampoo. The lady who was eventually able to go five days but started out going only one or two days between washes, was it one or two days? Because she was using cheap shampoos she found at Target. And they do not get hair clean. You can literally wash your hair 10 times in a row with a Target shampoo and it will not get your hair clean. To cover up that fact, they put in fragrances and these extra special ingredients that produce fake suds. That way, as soon as you start rubbing it in, you get all these suds even when it's not clean. That makes you think that your hair is clean and you did a good job, but then you're left wondering, why can I only go one or two days between washes? Because you use a cheap shampoo with fake suds, never get your shampoo at Target, use a professional shampoo, that'll get you way further. We'll talk about shampoo at the end of the video, and I have a really easy way for you to find a great shampoo for you. So for now, we're just gonna focus on the technique right now. At the end of the video, I'll show you the perfect shampoo. Okay, so now that we know suds and lather only appear when there's no more oil or buildup for the shampoo to bind to, we can use that to our advantage. Usually when you wash your hair, you'll get some suds, but not a ton. And if that's the case, there's still oil in your hair. It is not clean yet, and you're not gonna be able to go very long before your next wash. If you stop washing there, and just move on to conditioner, this is kind of like one bad apple spoils the bunch. A little bit of oil in your hair will make all of your hair gross. That's why 90% of people need to do a second wash because on the second wash, the suds will come very easy. You'll get all the oil out and you'll be able to go much longer before your next wash. If you look at this clip of Leslie, this is what you really want. See how many suds are in there? That's how you know the hair is all the way clean. So again, almost everyone should be doing two washes. If one wash gets your hair all the way clean, you probably aren't going long enough between washes, which will affect the health of your hair. Another note about suds and lather is that some people give you advice to cheat. They say get a ton of suds and a ton of lather in your hands and then put it on your hair. The problem with that is it's the same as spraying yourself with water, making it look like you sweat, and then coming in and say, oh guys, I just went on a five mile run, man. It was so hard, let me tell you. Making it look like you went on a five mile run is not the same as going on a five mile run. Making it look like you did a really good job shampooing is not the same as actually doing a good job shampooing. And it's pretty silly because of course you can get a ton of suds on your hands. There's no oil in your hands, but oil's in your scalp. So the thing is, suds only count if they're produced on your scalp. They don't count if they're produced on your hands where there's no oil. I also wanna talk about how different everyone is. Not everyone should or can go the same amount of days between washes. Just because my co-founder Leslie can go seven days does not mean you should. Most people just can't do that. Number one, she's an expert in maintenance. She's been doing this for years. And number two, she has me washing and styling her hair for her every week. So it's really not a fair comparison. The amount of days you should go between washes depends on your hair type. So let's go through exactly how long each hair type should go between washes. If you have fine hair that struggles with oil, you should shoot for washing your hair every three days. If you can get there, you're good. If you can push it to four days, you are a champion. If you have medium hair, you should shoot for washing every five days. Most likely, you're gonna get stuck at four for a while, but then hopefully as you get used to a routine is using dry shampoo, you'll eventually be able to push it to five. So four or five days for medium hair. If you have coarse hair, you should shoot for washing your hair every seven days. The reason for that is your scalp is naturally dry. You should take advantage of that. If you wash your hair any more frequently, it's just gonna dry it out. And also, don't let anyone else make you feel bad for how long you go between washes. Everyone's different, it doesn't really matter. Go by your hair type, not anything else. One thing that can help every hair type go longer between washes is clarifying shampoo. So if you're looking to optimize your routine, check out this video on clarifying shampoo. Earlier in the video, I promised you that I would help you find the perfect shampoo. And I actually have an entire video for that. It's called the top five shampoos of 2022. And you can watch it right up here. So by now you should have a really great idea of how you can go longer between washes and exactly how to shampoo your hair. All you have to do now is put this into practice. It may take a couple experiments. It may take you a couple weeks to really dial it in, but that's totally fine and totally normal. If you learn anything, please do me a huge favor and hit follow. That way more people can find this. And if you have a question, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Have a good one.